everyone, welcome back. This is Ayakar, short for ayahuasca, and welcome to the channel. Um, right now we have a few things going on. Um, I have a mindfulness series, I have a ayahuasca series, and I just started a new one called Diving Into the Darkness. So make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you can stay up to date. Um, so let's just dive in today's topic, which is um, you know, why I don't think someone, it's not in someone's best interest to go online and buy ayahuasca materials and make it at home themselves and try to do a ceremony on their own. Now, I know other people might not agree with me and that's perfectly fine. This is just my opinion. Um, but let's just, I want to first address, I feel so passionate about this. I want to first address like the energy behind that behavior, which is, um, I'm going to do this alone. I'm going to do this in isolation and let's just pause right there. You know, so this is, this is actually the issue, right? Because it mirrors the fact that we are so disconnected. I just get so emotional sometimes talking about this stuff, like, because of the things I've been shown, like, we are so disconnected. I will go online and avoid being in ceremony with other people to do this alone, you know, and I'm just going to, you know, do this process alone. I'm going to heal alone. And the truth, you know, there's, there's, there's some truths in this. So the truth is, I mean, we, we do heal ourselves, but we do not heal alone. We do heal ourselves, but we do not heal alone. And we got it like, we got it twisted here in the US, yo. I mean, we're an individualistic society. So all of this, all of us have this really ingrained pattern. It's a part of our evolutionary psychology. Like I need to be the one who makes it happen like all the time. And so a lot of what, I mean, if you think about it, so ayahuasca has traveled from a different country Peru and it's she I'm getting chills talking about this she has snaked her way here into the U.S. you know why because she's like wake up bros we heal together <laughs> you know like she's screaming at us saying like no, no no I'm not meant to be used in this artificial way you know and there's different ways I won't go into all the different ways you can make ayahuasca but there's you know there's the non-traditional way. Um, I'll put some links below. You know, there's different terms like pharmawaska or making ayahuasca um, with like the MAOI and the DMT, but not being the OG, the B Cappy Vine and the Chacruna Leaf, which by the way, this is, this is really important to realize because this is how she was made. You know, this is what the message was sent, you know, through the people who discovered this. I mean, they were told on a spiritual level that this is how it's made. So when you deviate from the original message, you start getting all sorts of different ways to do things. And it's, um, how do you explain it? Like, you know, I mean, and I respect there's different ways to do things, but you just have to realize like the original intent is being transcribed to to basically spit out something extremely artificial and it's in the end just feeding the ego whoa like those aren't even my words you guys like i so it's just you have to realize like the whole point is for you to submit to the og idea i know it's a lot so that's one reason why Breathe. Okay. And then number two, number two is, um, right. Kind of going off of the first point, but, um, what happens when you heal in front of somebody is unexplainable. Number one. So I'll just say that I can't explain it, but I know people who, who have done the medicine, they will know, they will just know. And those of you who haven't done it, you know, this is to understand that, do not go online and do it in your house. You know, this is my recommendation. You're allowed to do whatever you want, but this is just like, I'm trying to like push out this opinion because this is happening and it's like, what? So um, when you're in front of somebody 
that you feel safe with, that you've chosen, hand chosen, like, hey, you know, we've agreed that I meet all the requirements this in the ceremony and we're going to do this together. We're going to sit here in ceremony together. I mean, this is a big deal. When someone chooses another facilitator, you know, most people spend hours, days, years researching somebody to sit with them because you're about to catch, literally catch all my shit. Everything I throw up, everything I scream out, everything I cry, everything that comes up, all the emotional experiences, you know, get ready. This is what happens, you know? And so... Um, this, you know, brotherhood or sisterhood or this like initiation that happens in the medicine, this is more therapeutic than you will ever understand unless you've actually sat in ceremony. It's in it. And in, in it, once again, the reason why that people in America are so like, I don't need that. Like that's ego right there. We can just, that's an ingrained pattern. It's programmed into you and like, that's what you got to let go of. You know, you got to be willing to be like, I need community. I need somebody to help me. You know, that's the block when you have self-sufficiency syndrome, as I guess I could call it, you know, you've just learned how to survive on your own, which by the way, you know, that has beautiful, uh, applications. It does non ceremony. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's really important to understand that you're addressing a lot of um, ego and programming and to realize like how much healing actually happens between you and another person. And I mean, really, it's hard to explain just like the knowingness of somebody else being in the room. Because if, if you think about it, when you're alone, you probably won't push yourself as much, you might not drink as much because you don't feel safe. Like your ego is like, you need somebody there. So you know you can fully let go, immerse yourself and go there what you're there to do. You know, it's so key, so, so key. Um, and of course, you know, um, picking the right person and all this stuff is, that's really important. But um, so this is another reason why. So let me try and summarize. Um, yeah, so, um, the whole idea of doing things alone, um, needing the emotional mirror, um, understanding we heal together, um, and, you know, rewiring this U.S. programming. I mean, this is why she's here, guys. You know, like, why else do you think, you know? Okay. So, um, and I think, I think, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I mean, those are the deeper more spiritual reasons, I think. Um, and I'm not feeling anything else really coming up in why you're doing yourself a disservice if you do the medicine alone at your home. I'm not going to say it's good. I'm not going to say it's bad or right or wrong, but it's a disservice and you're, it's not the intent of the medicine. So, um, I'll just, those are my thoughts on it. So I hope you guys liked this video. I know it's probably wasn't the most comfy video. <laughs> so go ahead and like and subscribe and more to come. All right. So I hope you like, what is it? We're on Friday, you know, hopefully you're integrating your full moon experiences. It is March 22nd and I'll see you guys next time.